What's up, everybody? The channel supports you with another Grand Turismo 6 review. Uh, apologize for the delay, I've been working a lot lately, but I have had some free time now. Today, we'll be looking at the rather lovely Aston Martin DP100 Vision Grand Turismo. It was the second VGT concept to come from our late July update, so without further ado, let's get right to it. So, first off, the engine stats. Now, this car actually has engine stats, unlike the Nissan Concept 2020. The car comes with a 6 liter twin turbocharged V12, if you can see clearly from the mirror there. Uh, it's got 800 horsepower and the power goes through all four wheels via, via an 8 speed sequential gearbox. J60 takes about two, less than 2 seconds. It's actually quicker off the line than the Concept 2020. It makes it one of the quickest cars, quickest VGD cars out there. Uh, top speed is 224, making it one of the fastest out there. Uh, acceleration is very well until you reach gear six, and I say that because uh, well, you see, you see it in the future vid, a drag race between the Concept 2020 and the DP 100 that you're seeing here. Um, at after gear six, it starts to lose power. I mean, you you probably stuck doing about 210, 212. Uh, probably because the car doesn't come with. Um, its own tuned transmission. You have to get. You have to buy the uh, the customizable dock clutch uh, transmission um, from the from the tun tuner shop. Other than that, uh, you can't really get past 210 uh, on its own power. Probably you will reach 244 like via like drafting or air, other aerodynamic difference. But the car suffers from loads of drag, impeding it from reaching its true top speed. Now as for handling, it's good, it's grippy, it tends to over, but it tends to oversteer more than um, other Vision Grand Turismo all-wheel drive cars. Not as it's not as direct as the Nissan Cutter 2020. Um, but the overseer, you can use the overseer to your advantage on some circuits. Actually, I'll show you in a future vid with uh, comparing both the Cutter 2020 and the the Aston Martin DP100. You can the overseer does come at its advantage, but uh, not by much, but for the most part, uh, the overseer can be actually pretty annoying. Uh, yeah, I can. I should explain that too. Uh, well, you you do find some grip, but at some time the car just sways to one side, and that's probably because it doesn't come with its own uh, tune suspension as well. You have to buy the uh, buy the uh, customizable suspension to get things grounded. You need to tune it up. Other way, you should. The way you should. Though. It's not. As direct or as responsive as the um, the Concept 2020, the the Nissan moves like an athlete. The DP100 is pretty good, but it's just it's not really grippy enough. Even with those racing hard tires on, really strange. Now, as for the design, um, there are some iconic tidbits from the Aston Martin lineage that have been kept, i.e., the grille. It's sort of in the same shape, uh, um, albeit the carbon fiber splitter. The livery. The initial livery, um, it's yeah, the livery literally reaches green with a little some yellow highlights. It's from uh, Austin Martin Richards of his time, including the DBR9 from uh, yesteryear. And the rear lights are in the same are in the same shape as most Austin Martins, if you as you can see. Uh, for the most part, uh, the car looks sleek and swoopy, and it borrows some key design cues from the GT90, if as people might have probably clued in or cued in. On several forums and on my um, fan page, um, in my opinion, it's a bit taller and narrower than the Concept 2020. The Concept 2020 is a bit low, wide, bit sleek. The uh, DP100 isn't really well. It's sleek, but it's it's it looks tall from like a side angle. It's kind of big, uh, and yeah. Well, GT knows how to troll well too, because. Um, in terms of design, you can see the engine from the from the mid from the engine cover, but the car doesn't have a very modeled interior, which is common for GT concept cars. So, if you're watching cars, very funny, you're so funny. Anyway, on to the best color for this car. Um, as usual, I buy lots of GT Vision GT uh, a, a good number of Vision GT cars, just as copies, just because I have. I, I love cars. Well, that's simplistic. Anyway, <laughs> uh, well, basically, I just want to want to see like other tastes of cars from other colors. 
So, like, for example, I have three Vision GTI Roadsters, and I have three, um, Vision, I have three Concert 2020s. Uh, for this one, I brought, I only have two. The one I won from the, um, the, uh, seasonal event, which is over now. I think it's over. Last time I checked. And the one, the one I bought for 1 million credits, which is the standard price for an Evision GT concept card. Uh, the best color in my garage is, I'd say, it's the white and purple one that you're seeing here with the orange livery. And uh, yeah, it, just, it just stands out. It's sort of the same color as the one I saw at Goodwood, so... Because, like, the green, and, the green and the yellow, it's not bad color, but it's just too common, in my opinion. So, anyway, that's pretty much it. So, in conclusion, the car is definitely a looker. It definitely... Well, that's obviously, like, a trait. Austin Martin cars have to be very good looking and the dp100 is no exception it's a little it's a bit different but it's not different as it as if it's ugly it's different as if it's just different it's a beautiful it's a beautiful take on some, some sort of different um and it's not really that bad performance for it but with 800 horsepower on tap i mean i imagine this car would be a lot better with 800 horsepower and weighing only 300 1370 kilograms um but 224 way 100 horsepower is kind of weak. I'm I'm sorry, but you know, it's li it's as light as this, but it doesn't. The drag just kills the top speed on its own. It's not really, not really doing it much justice there. Um, it's kind of depressing to be honest. Anyway, it's this it's a free this free it's a freestyle product. This DP100, it's a res it's a revolutionary thing. Uh, it's the only time that Austin Martin has ever put turbos. In their V12 power, in the V12 car, the only other time in the real world was um, with their um, hydrogen hybrid repeat that they took to the Nurburgring 24-hour race last year. On the um, other than that, their production and concept cars have never had anything to do with turbos or our driver in that matter. So this is actually a first. So if they actually think about doing this in the future, uh, it will propel them to being to being actually real competitive cars with the uh, real high competitive hypercars of the day from Lamborghini and from Porsche because I mean the Austin's of today are really good I mean they just updated the Vanquish now they can do 0 to 3.6 seconds that's pretty quick for an Austin Martin because usually those heavy things could do 0 to 16 4 seconds or 3.7 seconds even so now that they're doing now that they're much, so much faster with the improved transmission and uh, lighter weight Hitting 203 miles, 202, 203 miles per hour with like 565 horsepower, that's actually very good. Uh, and that's pretty much all you need to know about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this brief uh, review of the car. Uh, stay tuned for more stuff. Remember, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later.